Is it realistic to get headphones with a bunch of chips and not blow your entire paycheck? CD Pods X. There's no fear of stepping on them because the aircraft aluminum case can support up to 200 pounds of load. The noise isolation of the headphones is as if you were underwater or in space. Clear sound and nothing extra. CG Pods Air Pro is 24 hours unplugged and six hours without a case. Double noise cancellation and the person you are talking to hears you as if you were in the same room, even if there are crowds of people around you. And CG Pod Sport, the first universal headphones. The fixation can be customized with seven pairs of mounts in different colors and sizes. <laughs> Super protection against moisture and dust, ideal for Russian weather conditions. Original headphones are only sold directly from discount on the entire range. Hello everyone, dear viewers of my channel. You're back with Solid, and since the whole country is celebrating Cosmonautics Day, we decided to make you happy with a thematic video, specifically astronaut food. Here it is in this box. I took the time to visit a specialized factory. I was forbidden to film inside, after all, a strategic experimental food factory, canning jars. Secret everything, but I've got something to review. And 100% I assure you, you haven't seen it, unless you're Tereshkova. Yes. But the best part is that I will raffle off the exact same box among you. Dear viewers, what do you need to do? Isn't that right? Put first of all like, subscribe to the channel, and leave any positive comment. We'll pick the winner in the next video. Go ahead. So we open it up, take a look. First of all, we are met here by two space rags, which are used to fix them on the wall, and here to insert cans and tubes. Necessary things, little things, in general useful in the economy thing, but only in space, because on the ground it will all fall the fuck out. And the best part is that today we're going to try wax, even something, gravity. And just a quick question for you. Guess in the comments how much it all costs. It's no use guessing, guys, because 11 love and 100. All this stuff. These little tin cans, these little 11 noven hundred markers. Do you know how much tea costs here? 750 rubles. Tea. Unfortunately, space is too politicized right now. Some are constantly proving that Americans beat us a long time ago. And they have bigger rockets, bigger launch tables, bigger satellites. And they launched sophisticated vehicles to Mars. And they don't need to fly our missiles anymore since they have their own dragon. In fact, they just launched the biggest rocket in the world the other day with a secret heavy military satellite. Others, on the other hand, say we're safe. We launch the hangar at the third attempt. We are feeding the mechs. We are trying to land. And in general, on paper, we have much more prospects. But personally, I think such arguments only hinder humanity's space exploration. We people should have realized a long time ago that the topic of outer space is general, scientific, and in no way relations between countries should affect the development of this industry. So stop arguing. No, I don't understand why you're arguing with me. Why is it that Americans can land some satellites, rovers, helicopters on Mars, on the surface of Mars, another planet, and we can just plant? We don't give a fuck. I'll tell you right now. Here's the textbook here. Look at this. We're pioneering. It says here, Yuri Alexeyevich Gagarin made the first space flight of one hour and 48 minutes. That's not true, though. The flight lasted 106 minutes. Here's a document just for you. We can divide today's entire diet into several categories. First, it's canned food. The most interesting and exciting and unusual is this Azu. There was no description, just a ROM. Well, it's some kind of acronym, Emergency Coal Stockpile. Next, here are these specialized space sublimates and they are in unusual packages, no.
A special tube is inserted here and water is passed under pressure. And a minimum of water is needed here because water is the heaviest thing in space, except for humans. You add literally 50 grams of water and it all swells adequately. Of the flour products, it is naturally white bread. Rye bread and space cookies like these. This is such an old but unforgotten format for canned food. Chubbies. Stew. It's good to eat out of. Stew, of course. And let's finally get to the tasting already, because I can't stand it anymore. Let's start with these beautiful supplements. Let's go! All right, let's begin our cosmic feast. The first thing we're going to try is pork tenderloin with mashed potatoes. I'd like to point out that only space rations use primarily sirloin meat. That is, not mashed potatoes and meat, but tenderloin and mashed potatoes. It's a slightly different approach, mind you. Pay attention to the color, the consistency, the quantity. A rarity before us, after all. Even gravity couldn't help her. Real space mashed potatoes, huge amounts of meat, and most importantly, it smells. Potatoes and onions. So you take them like this, and you stink of onions all over the space station. Look, they can do it when they want to. Well, potatoes with very salty stew. I'm outraged. Well, what is it? That is, you taste the first spoonful, you don't understand anything. And after the second spoonful, there is an aftertaste. Well, I have no idea what they put in there because, again, there's no description of both the composition and the proportions. Nothing is written. All classified, of course. But it's very intense. It gives you an energetic boost right away, like you take out coffee, an energizer. And regardless of the portion, you... Yeah. I'm not fucking full, I'm kidding myself. Of course, a dozen, but not enough. Next dish, beef stir-fry with rice and vegetables. From the looks of it, it's like looking at a poster. We didn't put anything on top of it, we didn't make it pretty, it's just the way it is. It's very beautiful. Everything is very uniform here. Originally customized, poured in such a way that it was beautiful even in the bag. The smell is weird, by the way, because it primarily smells like such a very potent bell pepper. You know, the smell of pepper, that kind of smell, here. It's like there's supposed to be something spicy, but you don't eat spicy in space, naturally. Well, for one thing, this dish is already much less salty. It feels like there's no salt here. Second, flavor-wise, well, about the same thing can be made at home by buying regular frozen Hawaiian mix. That's kind of it. I tried something similar with the Americans. It tastes the same. And we're not lagging behind. The flavor can be described in literally two words. Harmonious juiciness. Nine points. It was a little lacking in spice. Here's the thing, and I didn't see that coming. Curd with sea buckthorn puree. You can trade anything for cottage cheese, and despite its so meager appearance, it's a concentrate of wholesomeness. Because cottage cheese is healthy. For one thing, it relieves stress. Second, it strengthens the heart and blood vessels. And it also improves bone and dental health. And sea buckthorn, it's a disaster. In its composition, it contains potassium, calcium, magnesium, iron, boron, phosphorus, amino acids, vitamins A, C, B1, B2, B3, B6, B9, you name it. Basically, you can see for yourself what it is. It's a very heavily vitaminized thing. Very healthy. Let's go. Here's usually when you drink some either vitamins or pills, something healthy, it's nasty. Well, there is such a rule. This is an exception to the rule. It's divine. Subtitles by Dima Torzok. The body is still asking for more. I'd be a kilo. I could eat a kilo. Sweet, soft, creamy. But by the way, the sea buckthorn itself is barely perceptible here. The notes are there, but much more color, believe me, than flavor. The cottage cheese destroyed the sea buckthorn after all. A 10, of course. 
The next unusual goodie is bread. It would seem, what could be simpler than that? Prepare little things like this to make it convenient to eat without crumbs in the space. And it's done. But why isn't something like this in our rations? Because this bread keeps for the same two years. Easy. Let's start with some whole wheat muffin bread. It looks very presentable. You know, it's like taking a loaf, shrinking it. And the crumbs flew. Yeah, to the spaceship. You fucked up the whole ship. Bread. Let's go. It's like I'm visiting an American. A to taste. You think if you start dividing it up like that, it'll crumble? No. It'll crumble in your throat. It's a little cheesy on its own. And there's that taste of dampness, even a little bit of mold, it's present. It's great in appearance though. Expiration dates from 1925. That's it. You could even play bread and butter with the Americans in space. You take this yakish thing, you put something sharp in it, and you go like this. What should I tell them? Nothing. They have no bread. Therefore, what is to be done? That's right. Move on to the next goodie, which is called a honey mat. Just imagine, a gentleman is sitting in space. He has icons, there is a porthole, books, photo equipment, and he takes one of these in a mat. Whoa, here we go. It goes in, it goes in, it goes in, it really goes in. Here we go. Holy shit, it's a gingerbread man. In space, you can imagine, flies the flavor. This nonsense, this is our gingerbread. Beauty is a 10 out of five. We'll move on to the next course. Guys, as we know, spacecraft are the most reliable thing in the world. But even they require maintenance, just like your car service, auto service, auto service, and auto parts service, auto service, and auto parts service, auto service, and auto parts. Okay, time for lunch. Sergei restricts me from eating because we only have borscht and apple cherry juice. About the borscht? Yes, I agree. It doesn't look as traditional as we are used to. But still, what we have is what we have. It's such a mashed substance. But believe me, the composition here is everything we are so used to in regular borscht. Let's go. I didn't even warm it up. It doesn't make sense. Hmm. Well, it's a very strange feeling. You're eating the consistency of crumbly cold cottage cheese, but it tastes like something meaty. It's a cross between borscht and soup. Nothing is clear yet. It's all over now, mind you. That's it. I doubted that. Fuck, it's amazing. But next of kin, the aftertaste is that of a traditional run-of-the-mill hodgepodge. This gravy, eaten separately, not so much. It should be added to potatoes, to buckwheat, to porridge, to camping. That's right. I can't be allowed on the ISS. I'm gonna eat it all up. Americans will be battening down the hatch. It's going to be a fight for survival. They'll panic and undock from the station and fly off in a panic. Juice compote. Cosmic. There's nothing superfluous here. Nothing at all. It's just transparent. If something a little stronger was thrown in, he'd be amazingly serious. Well, I'll tell you like it is. You can't get one of these at the store, honestly. It'll be similar, but not the same. It's like more sugar here. It's so rich, so tart. What? You've been drinking or something. You know what I'll tell you? I'm not full. We need to move on. That's it. I've been waiting for you for ages. Look at that plate, friends. It's kind of like dinner. My only question for you. Why do you put these three poofs on the lid of every hundred gram jar? <laughs> Whoever answers that will be a huge well done. Of course, you can still rant about how these are old-fashioned Soviet canning jars. Salting. What makes you think they're going into space? They're flying, folks. Exactly. Jars like this flying around? It would seem that there is a liquid here. Water. Some kind of broth. Not a problem. In space, it's generally, that's where it drops down, and that's where it flies. You know what I mean? She has no problem swallowing. Man, everything's so beautiful, so colorful. Let's get started. With a red one. Here, Azu, tata meat dish. Basically meat with vegetables and pickles. Let's go.
It's just a simple thing. Nah, on the one hand, it's savory. You can feel the quality. Minimal fat, maximum meat. I don't even feel the pickles. Not oversalted. On the scores, I give it a seven. It was a little short on fat. Come on, we'll welcome anything new to you. Fat in the studio and you show up like this. Do you realize you're not human anymore? You're an event. 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 Your life. Events before and after. Best event of your life. Admit it, that's not who I am. Even the next blue jar is called beef with mayonnaise. You know what else I like is that nothing superfluous here is not written at all, only the most important and large print. Weight, name and expiration date. No composition of any additional advertising. There is nothing and printed so still on a Soviet printer. I have only one question. Where's the mayonnaise? I see carrots, I see meat, but absolutely no nuance. Mayonnaise, to taste. Very bland stew, very except for salt. There is little to feel here, not carrots, not some spices do not save the situation here. There is no bay pans, apparently, nothing. Here's meat and salt although, here's a little bit of onion. I notice that there's such a pick, but there's no mayonnaise flavor at all. Well, we eat everything. On points, it's a triple bash, didn't like it very much. Here, even based on the name, it's clear that this is an interesting dish. Look, a canned chicken liver omelette. It looks extremely unusual. We get an omelette pan on top and the meat on the bottom. Honestly, I don't see how it's possible to eat it neatly in space because you divide it all into pieces, it all falls out. It's uncomfortable. Here we go. Of the liver. I just had a piece of freshly cooked liver. It's not a pachyderm. No, 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 no. I realize how long it's been since I've had it. Geez, there's nothing complicated about the flavor. It's just an egg and liver. Egg and liver. That's it. And the liver enhances the flavor of the egg yolk. How it works, I don't understand. But it's delicious. Shit, give me two. In terms of points, naturally a ten. This is the first time I've ever tasted one of these. Class, I'm an astronaut now. How we Americans envy us out there. Get this right. I googled and found the answer that Americans on the ISS eat their own, essentially mariachis. They have the exact same packages, so when I see these pickles, it makes me proud. Here's the answer. No one, not you, not me. Maybe not even one of them has ever tasted this dish. Beef tongue in jelly with olives. The dish looks amazing. There's some fat here. It's white. You can see it. And green olives. Whole, not chopped up. Really a slice of olive. There he is. The tongue is chopped into small cubes. That allows for all this stuff in space. Like this. Like this. And then, putting it all together. There's even a whole almost olive. Here we go. Olive. It's fresh. Let's go. Well. Not salted, not peppered, no spices at all. Just boiled tongue, just as it was, chopped up like that and topped with olives right away. That's it. No give, no take. Here's someone who likes language, would probably like it, but I didn't really like it. Well, honestly, he even smells like that. Did you smell the cow's tongue? And I was sniffing. How can you even eat that? These spreads were made based on the wishes of the astronauts. There's no other way. Why would they want other canned foods they don't like? Somebody ordered it. Make me a beef tongue with olives, please. I like this topic. On a score of two, a little more spice you put in. There was no question. The name of the next dish also tells us that you can't usually buy it at the store. It's called chicken meat with prunes. You open it up and really the first thing you encounter is a prune. There she lies. Everything else is chicken and broth. That's cool. 
Let's start with the prunes. What was it soaked in? Wait, prunes, that's... Black plum? Plum. That word prune can be crossed out immediately. Leave out only the chicken meat, and it will be true, because there's only one berry. I tried it now and didn't feel anything at all. I felt the chicken meat, everything. And this chicken reminds me the most of the one we cooked over the fire. It's not canned, like, that's the difference. You know, that said, there's a minimum of spices here. And of the meat, apparently only the breast is used. Now that's white meat, AKA class. You have to know how to cook it properly because it's dry. It's not dry. It's in its own juice. That's the broth. Envy, the 10, of course. That's it. The meat products had run out, and the only thing left among the small canning jars was a single solitary zucchini caviar. Took it just for the sake of comparing it to the army's similar product. And so, on the outside, I'll tell you right off the bat, it's about the same. It smells the same and tastes the same, I guess. No, no, it's... In soldiers' rations, it is zucchini caviar. It is a little too salty. There's no such thing here. You can feel the zucchini clearly here. You can feel the carrots very strongly. And then there's the pronounced sunflower oil. It's really sweet. So in terms of quality, my respect. I wouldn't say what better. Well, by a couple points, I think it's worth raising. So I give it a three. Three cans of stew, they won't take me into space, and for that, ten. Well, the largest, yet most colour-harmonious canning jar. A dessert of peaches. I've never seen anything like it either. I've never seen anything like it. It looks like this. Guys, open and secure. Just not even pieces, but slices. A full jar of persids. Shit, let's go. Coincidentally, what the hell are you doing, huh? More than certain that this dish is cooked to Soviet standards. At least somewhere it's been preserved and multiplied. Here you go. Man, no. Well, I can't do that. Let me into the science module. I left a tooth there. You can do food experiments on me. I ate it and didn't notice. Contagion. I'm done. All that's left is this broth. Class. Minimal sugar and maximum peach flavor. It's more intense here than the real thing. Here's a fresh one. That's really cool. And there's no chemistry in any of the cans at all. You can't go in there. Moving on to the tea party. We specifically have two teas I picked up for comparison. The first one is this Ramuk, a.k.a. May, a.k.a. Lipton. And this sample for 750 rubles can be discussed separately. In appearance, the package resembles a bottle of water. Tubes are inserted at the bottom through which hot water is pressurized. And at the top opens a tube like this, with which the astronaut drinks tea. The label is glued on with regular scotch tape, and inside is a pouch like this, which shows the remnants of the string. You can take it from here. Well, it's immediately obvious that it's better, unparalleled, and has... In fact, here it is analog. Let's go with Romuk. Wet. I'm used to drinking tea without sugar. I only drink sugar-free everything on the streamers, because those are the wrong drinks. I'm not going to say anything bad or good. It's interesting to compare it to this one. 750 rubles, after all. Do you know the difference between veal and beef? That's about right. Well, it's the same thing. Well, there's absolutely no difference. They could at least put a conchipomnik in there for flavor. I don't know some berries, dried fruit, these little ones. What do they drink tea with? Put some raspberry leaves in there. What's 750 rubles for? Where are you going? In me. There's still cookies left. 
Well, the name's self-explanatory. Russian cookies. What else could it be? 30 grams. But the most interesting thing is that right here in the picture is not the same thing that is inside. So, these cookies are these thin cookies, which for some reason break very easily, and most importantly, they crumble very quickly. Can you imagine what would happen in space if an astronaut were to eat sloppily? To taste. Well, at least it doesn't feel like it, which is cheap. Good shortbread sugar dough. And it's unusual. There's a lot of milk. Whipped cream. Of course, I'm all over it. And not a gram to the operator. Where'd you go? Sergei. Go home. I'll finish up here. I'll pack it up. Go, go! Just stayed hungry. It's fine. Well, and now for the traditional verdict. I'll go over the prices right away. Yes, it's expensive, but I can't complain since the products are not made for general consumption. Astronauts eat it for free anyway. So thank you for being able to get your hands on something so rare. Next, the quality of the food. Guys, it's cosmic. Minimal water, maximum meat, an unusual dish, and they are so many and varied it made my eyes water. And then I was deciding what to get. Supplements. That's a separate conversation. Big chunks of meat, light by the way for camping straight up, just very expensive. You add minimal water and there's no hint that it was ever sublimated at all. All in all, more excited than ever today. And you, friends, I would like to congratulate you once again, though with the past, but our native holiday. Thank you, Gagarin and Korolev, for this opportunity to rejoice in our past in a kind way. And to you, friends, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel to not miss the next videos. Share the vid with a friend and all the best to you. Good luck, everybody. Bye.